the night when she met Edward Snowden, she did not know who Edward Snowden was. It was just a white man in front of her door. So she let him in and, and let him sleep in her bed. There's only one bed in the, in the apartment. She slept on the floor. And the next morning, Edward Snowden asked her to please bring a newspaper. Okay. When was the first time you realized how big the Snowden case was? At what time did oh. you know? Uh, in 2013, um, when uh, Edward Snowden stayed at my house, um, he told uh, the next morning he told me that uh, he need the English newspaper. So I bought the English newspaper with him, and um, I'm really shocked that the guy who stay in my home is the most wanted man in the world, and he because he's in the uh, in the front page of the newspaper. So I'm really shocked that uh, the guy is in my house. <laughs> so, so w what did you do after that? What did you think um, after that? I think that uh, I, need, um, I need to be careful. And uh, my lawyers told me that uh, don't tell to anyone that, that, that that's the first rule and don't let anyone come to my house. So uh, I need to be careful uh, that uh, because I, I don't stand and stay in my house. So uh, I no let anybody that stay in my house and I'm not tell to anybody that I don't stand in, in, in my house. Did you still want to help Mr. Snowden at that time? I, uh, yes, I still want to help Edward Snowden because uh, he no have place to stay and uh, he needs my help and uh, I think uh, I, I can uh, do that for him.